hi and welcome back to my channel today is another hashtag op shop crafter and this is where we show what we have found at the op shop for our crafting now this is an open collaboration with me anyone can join in it doesn't matter if you're in other collaborations you don't have to post any particular day just when you get a haul and put it up and show us what you have found now this includes secondhand shops um, social media secondhand sites and if you've got a really good special from somewhere put it up with it too and show us what you've got all right um all i ask is that you put hashtag op shop crafter in your title and you link me back in your description box to my channel all right let's get going and we'll see what we've found this time now my kids are gonna think i am totally insane and <laughs> and um let's hope they're not watching this <laughs> but i found a little you know those little shell figures that they make things out of i found one of them and i was like oh my goodness my mum was i would have she would have loved it now i've never seen a little shell figure in the shape of a dinosaur look at this isn't he awesome <laughs> he's a shell dinosaur oh, i was so chuffed to find this this is the sort of stuff my mum loved to buy and everyone in the family hated it <laughs> and um i actually got given them when <laughs> she passed away and uh, and her shells so i was really chuffed to find this i think he's awesome look at his spikes <laughs> uh, i seen it it was in the cabinet and i said oh how much for that shell figure and she goes oh isn't he a cool dinosaur and i was like yes <laughs> um he was five dollars and i think he's pretty cool it just reminded me of mum and i uh, he's awesome i love him <laughs> so that was my little <laughs> find that um people who know me are gonna think oh what's he buying now <laughs> yeah but mum would have been so chuffed to find something like this <laughs> awesome <laughs> all right that was my first awesome little find now i found, found three rolls of this stuff i have no idea what it is it's fabric on one side and the other side looks like it's i don't know almost like painted fabric or something but when i seen it i immediately thought oh junk journal spines look there was three different colors aren't they awesome and they're really well let's see if we can rip it oh i can just just rip it okay it's pretty tough but it would be awesome like book binding if anyone knows let me know in the description but i just thought oh that's awesome stuff so i picked up the three colors they had i think they had mm, they may have had some more oh they had multiples of colors but I just picked up those three and thought they would be really cool to use so that was a cool find yes i don't know like you can see that it's fabric but it is oh like i'm pulling pretty hard that is quite tough interesting all right my next find was this beautiful um fiber it's a brown with gold and silver sort of sparkles through it isn't that beautiful it's really soft so that was cool i think i found two balls of fiber yeah the other one's here this one i've got this in a pink but i've seen this brown one i thought oh that is pretty isn't it gorgeous so that i picked up that ball someone's rewound it All right, my next thing was these. These are little flower makers. 
Now I've got a couple of different types of these sort of things and you twist that and see the spikes come out so you wrap your your flower around secure the center and then undo this latch <laughs> one of the latches don't go right back in that's all right and it comes it goes um it, then the flower comes off now let's see what is happening to you oh yeah it's him so i thought they were pretty cool they would be fun to work with there was a couple of plastic needles in there so i'll add it with my other little flower making things because I found another of this, where is it? This stuff. What is it? It's like plastic raffia. And this is what I make the flowers on with, sorry. The flowers that are on my, see you go round like this and round until you've, you know, wrapped your flower. Where is my junk journal? and that makes flowers like this which I'm still trying to get this junk journal finished I really need to get it finished right so that will be fun to work with and I'll put this it's like this isn't sort of white it's like a creamy color I don't think I have any cream which is cool so that'll be fun to have a play with all right, my next thing was a bag of hearts. Bag of fabric. Oh, you can never get into these op shop bags. <laughs> They're always done up securely. So there's a big bag here of like fabric little hearts. Oh look, someone's got a, a little hair thing on one of them. But I thought they'd be cute to um bead on or so you know do some little stitching on they're cute little things they're like they're not white they're sort of an off whitey cream color there's a whole heap of them in that bag they were cool picked up a jar of buttons i thought there was a nice mix in this jar Oh, look at that one there. Mm. Just like the pinks and oranges and oh, look at that big, big button. That's a cool big button. Look how thick it is. So there's some nice little buttons in there. Just like the colour mix. Oh, there was this gorgeous buckle it's metal that was 50 cents isn't that gorgeous there was some beads some really pretty blue beads and oh here's some more buttons there's my scissors these were a nice tealy color or what do you call it aren't they pretty they look blue on camera but they're not they're like an aqua teal color so i'll just leave them out because the bag's really yucky um i found a necklace and that will be fun too where's my um, tray that'll be fun to take the beads off it so they are a really pretty um just sort of cream colors nice little mix of beads there so they'll be fun to put away in my stash now i got a whole heap of little zippers I've seen people use these little zippers on their stitching like you when you unzip it you can 
twist them around in different directions and do things with them so they were really cheap so I just picked up a just a little selection of different colors gray one and a navy one so I thought they were cool also found a vintage pack too zipper I might um, scan that one and some little hook things I found some little buttons let's take them out of the bag some little gold buttons I thought they were cute don't have many of the little shiny type buttons I found a whole pack of these jump rings well there was two packs of them there one was three times bigger than that and I thought well I don't need that I'll just take the smaller bag <laughs> and there was um, some other little beads okay there was a colored little colored pack of beads these little beads they're only 50 cents each I thought they were cute I'll just take them off their packets because I'll put them in me um, in my beading and there's some little gold ones and little oh, oh. <laughs> oh. you get in there some little gold and silver ones and they're the little rice beads but they're smaller you know they're really small rice beads so I thought they were nice and then there was a little pack of long bugle beads I think they only charged me 20 cents or something for these aren't they cool then there was a pack of sequins what does it say sequin thread and it's called beautiful flush it was a dollar but it's like a variegated one I thought oh that's really pretty so it flushes around from this cream color to a white I haven't seen anything like that see it's got like a variegation in it in the sequence so that was pretty because like I said I've been collecting up cream colored things so that was really nice all right what else I found some velvet ribbon this is gorgeous burgundy velvet ribbon old-fashioned like trims so I've got those two and there was this trim here had 50 cents on it looks like there's a, at least a meter and they're these orange roses aren't they gorgeous so that was pretty good for 50 cents okay there was a little embroidery hoop little three inch one which would be nice to put something in that's small and I got a whole bag of silk ribbon a bluey gray color there's a variegated pink some of these haven't even been opened look now four dollars fifty from an arts and crafts suppliers I didn't pay that much here's another one that hasn't been opened a cream colored one looks like from spotlight beautiful light green one Christmas green two more that have never been opened a white one and another pretty green 
a lighter burgundy this one's been used but it's like a bluey oceany blue color like that first color a little bit here's a yellow this one hasn't been open it's a variegated purple and a tealy colored one and a nice just foresty green color aren't they gorgeous beautiful silk ribbons all right what else did i find this um ribbon which has got awesome pretty flowers on it this might look nice in my flower power journal yeah that's a good idea i think it's got wire yeah it's got wire edging that has all right i've got a few um oh now here's another piece of lace i don't know what this has come off probably a dress or a shirt or something but there's about mm -hmm, just a bit over a meter there of oh, this side around but that's quite pretty that could be all cut apart too so a little beautiful lace there's this interesting stuff I have no idea what it is but it's sparkly and it's quite tough like I have no idea I think it would, it would look cool um, with done with some book binding because it's fairly thin but it's got this iridescent sparkle through it it's like a cream color I have no idea what it is I've never seen anything like that so interesting interesting <laughs> the things that you find all right let's put you over there i got a couple of tea towels and one was a tasmanian one with beautiful tasmanian pictures on it of animals and flora in the, the state of Tasmania so there was that one and the other one was um, wildflowers I like getting the wildflower ones and this one's a West Australian wildflower one <laughs> that's funny we say western australia wildflowers of west australia <laughs> i wonder whether there's a date on there because that we don't say it like that no interesting obviously another country has printed that <laughs> all right i've got a couple of doilies love my doilies there was this one I haven't ironed them or washed them or anything yet and this pretty little one this one does it go that way no this way and this one with the purple flower on it so they were quite cute little lot of doilies oh there's a bag of lace here too and it's done up like what knots as well all right there's a piece of black lace there is oh this is pretty piece of this sort of lace that's pretty there's some go grain ribbon piece of lace cotton thread glow what's it called cotton tape some of this cotton lace some of this cotton um not cotton but it's lace as well it's, it's a fairly popular lace that one some more cotton stuff and there's pins and all sorts of things hanging off these this one's pretty that one's pretty just little pieces they are 
And this one is pretty too. Looks like it could be off the edge of a doily or a tablecloth. Same with that. All right, there's a piece of fine black lace. Another piece that looks like it's come off a, um, a doily or something like that, but they're quite pretty. Oh, there's another piece of that fairly common one, but this is um, really sheer. The others are a bit thicker. That's quite nice, that one. So we've got that. There's a couple of other pieces of lace in here. That's pretty. It's a wider one. Oh, what's this one? This one looks pretty. It's got roses on it. That's quite pretty, isn't it? Could be, um, I think it feels like it's wire edged, that one. There's this one. This is pretty. Yeah, that's really different. This one looks like it's come off clothing. Yeah, someone's pulled it off something. Another one of these cottony sort of style. And that definitely. Oh, the houses are cute. Looks like it's come off something as well. Tablecloth or some more of that cotton tape. Oh, these are pretty. Look at these tiny little blue flowers. Aren't they gorgeous? They're navy blue. Gorgeous. And then there's a piece of, and I don't know what that is. Just a piece of thread thing. <laughs> so that's what was in that little bag of lace bits. Let's put you over there. Okay, I found, you might have remembered a while back, I found this whole bag of, um, um, what was it, velvet ribbon, but it was only really thin. And I've still got yours here, Nat. I've been meaning to post yours out to you. And um, I found this one. This one is like a, ooh, what do you call it? An apricot color and it's wider, but it's all um, velvet ribbon. Isn't that beautiful? There's quite a bit on there too, see? I'll just see if I can unpin it. There's a little pin, there you go. And the first reel of it, the first round of it, is quite dirty. But then the rest of it is really pretty. So that's some vintage um, velvet ribbon. Now I found a little bit of fabric. A blue lace, which is just gorgeous. It's got that raised edge on it that everybody loves with their stitching and things that they like to do there was uh, a couple of different prints that i liked this print was awesome isn't it it's not cotton it's a mm, i don't know it's it's a stretchy one i think but it's um it's sort of got that little shine on that side feels vintage to me but who knows <laughs> I would not know but isn't it beautiful the brown and the orange roses just beautiful and I think it was Terry that was saying oh that rose fabric would look really pretty on this box remember I found this box this sewing box and I wanted to recover it something like the other one that I showed in the, one of the past videos or something like that wouldn't that look pretty on that on the top of it really pretty so uh, that's a little op shop project I've I've got that'll come up here's another printed fabric that was quite pretty I love blues and browns together I always have so that's quite a pretty print that is So there was that print 
and my last piece of fabric is a piece of I think it's jacquard what they call jacquard that shiny fabric look at this one isn't it gorgeous wow it is gorgeous it's like an apricot and sort of off white I guess but it is absolutely gorgeous look at the other side like you can see that side now look at the other side of it it's got like the opposite look where that off-white is the off-white there and then you've got the apricot backing so you could use either side I reckon if you were sewing something and when I un wound it or unfurled it it looked like it was someone's big formal dress because it does have some joins in it like a dress that sort of comes out but it is absolutely stunning the camera does not do that justice so they were my fabrics that I found and I found a couple of books not many um, I found two books that were drawing books flowers in color pencil and colored pencil and I thought oh these would be like they're from Aldi well they're from Aldi but I didn't get them for that price they were way cheaper but I thought they looked really cool just um you know just having a look through here and see how they shade things and put colors on top of colors and anything like that can really help you along with your um pencil coloring and you know anything like that so I thought that was really cool to pick up these I like these see how you use different colors like in that pair of shoes you've got all these colors because when things reflect they reflect color don't they that's gonna look awesome it just shows you then how to add those colors to things so there's all sorts of pictures in there and it gives you instructions and this one was all flowers I thought oh that's cool just showing you how to get that depth of colors in flowers So I'm looking forward to sitting down and having a little look through them a, little, a longer look there was this book it was a uh, well it says here grade six the Swan Hill excursion grade six 1979 and it's about dogs it's a dog book practical guide to dogs I'm gonna to have to do a dog journal I really want to do a dog journal after all those cat ones <laughs> and I like the black and white pictures in here um, I also had some beautiful colors in there as well and yeah I just always oh, seen a puppy of one of these you don't see these much anymore what is it um, um, it's a terrier cross terrier breed but the puppy was gorgeous can't remember the, the proper names of them so I thought well this will be cool I liked the um <laughs> some of the old pictures look at them <laughs> look at the big poodle <laughs> love my doggos Pickle wasn't well there the other day I don't know what went on he woke us up at 3 in the morning Spe oh look at that I like that that would look cool in a junk journal spewing his guts up he spewed five times within like pff, an hour and um, I said to Dave look you go back to bed I'll sit with him all that day he was just he stopped spewing I gave him a charcoal tablet and he stopped spewing well he ended up spewing up the charcoal but that was the last spew so Dave said well hopefully it's out now whatever was given him problems 
and he shivered and he shook all day i just had to baby him all day and um that afternoon <laughs> he did two poops that shot out nearly half a meter just liquid <laughs> And I've never heard a dog fart before, but he was playing a musical instrument. Poor little fella. And he's okay now. Like, it took him that day and the next day to sort of start to feel... I didn't feed him in that time. I just made sure he had water. And um, it was late yesterday afternoon that I boiled him some just plain chicken and rice and he ate that. But today he's fine, so something passed through him that was not agreeable. <laughs> Poor little guy. All right, I've got this book, um, Constant Howard's Book of Stitches. Now, this is an interesting book. I've never seen this book. And a lot of the pictures in here are black and white, but they are pretty cool. And it just gives you all these stitch ideas. It's a pity it was black and white, but you still get the idea of the stitches. Aren't they awesome? And it shows you how to do them on the other page. Just gorgeous. And this was very, this was very modern for its time, I think, because this is the sort of stitching that everyone loves doing now. So, you know, there's nothing new under the sun. Everything has its time and comes back around again, I reckon. <laughs> See, look, you know, everyone's into all this sort of stitching now. So I was like, ooh, hmm, nice book. <laughs> See? So I was pretty chuffed to find this book. I think it cost me $2.00. And there's some awesome stitchery in here. And like I said, what a shame that it's in black and white. You can only imagine how the colour would have made this look so much better. But you get the idea. And on this sort of the side of the page, it shows you how to do them all. With a wave stitch. Awesome. Is that a fly stitch? <laughs> I don't know a whole lot of stitches. I'll just chevron stitch. I must. Oh, there are some colour plates in here. Oh, there's a few colour plates. Not many. <laughs> that didn't last long. But aren't they gorgeous? Like, like I said, you know, this is all the stuff that people are into nowadays with their slow stitching and stuff. You know, putting edges on it. An awesome book. I don't know whether you've got this book, Sonia. Um, I know you've got a lot of stitchery books. But if you haven't, this one could be a good book to look out for, to put in your collection. There's another colour plate. Looks like we're only going to get two colour plates. Hmm, <laughs> very interesting. very forward for its day i'll have a look in a second what um year it was you know, i'll just take that out of the light because the camera will not like that i know yeah i paid two dollars for it and it is Um, okay, it was first published in 79 and reprinted in 70, uh, 79, 81 and 84 and first published in paperback, which would be this one in 85. Okay, so if you look out for that book, a Bratsford embroidery paperback, Constance Howard, Book of Stitches. Hmm. Very nice. 
very chuffed with that book and my last book was this a pluto pups fun pad treasury hour activity pad i had one of these when i was a kid and i just couldn't resist when i seen this and it didn't have it wasn't colored in look at this stonehenge <laughs> i was like oh my, oh there's a little bit done not much at all i was like oh nice this would look awesome in a junk journal see all these dot to dots asher can do all them he does them with the alphabet or numbers He'll go one, two, three, four, or A, B, C, D. He knows his alphabet. He knows how to read little words. He said to me, his mum said, how do you spell Graham, Asha? He goes, g I was like, what? And she said, what about pop? P -op -p -op. And he says it real quick. Oh, gosh, he's clever. Oh, look, someone's done a really good picture there of the cat. <laughs> And he loves all these puzzle books. Mad said she got him a, um, he loves mazes. Oh, he's so good at mazes. <laughs> Mad said she got him a maze book and she just, he just finished the book twice. And that's all he did all afternoon. <laughs> oh, he's a clever little fella. So this is a cool little book. It's all got aged, but look at that. <laughs> oh, look at this person <laughs> uh, Arthur White <laughs> oh, oh gosh can't you tell I'm very easily entertained <laughs> oh. <laughs> so this <laughs> um, this book has hardly been used <laughs> Let's do I pay for it? I think it says a dollar there, but I know that that colours 50 cents at the shop. So <laughs> nice. <laughs> so that was my op shop crafter haul. I hope you enjoyed looking at those bits and pieces. We had fun getting out and checking out um, the op shops around us. And it was a beautiful drive today. The sun was out. It's not much warmer, but the sun was out and it made you feel like it was warmer. All right, I hope you're happy and well. And if you're new here, I'd love it if you'd subscribe to my channel. Press that bell button for notification, like, share and all that sort of thing. Join in when you find something from the op shop for your crafting. Join in. I would love for you to join in. Thank you to the ladies that have. And I also need to say thank you to all my new subscribers. I have reached 32,000. Wow. And... You know, you would think that I've got 32,000 subscribers, but I don't have as many views. And, like, it's got to do with the algorithms and all this sort of stuff of YouTube. But uh, the bulk of those subscribers were from how many years back? A lot. A lot of years back when I was just doing card making. So now i just do whatever i want <laughs> i'm at the age i'm just doing whatever i want whatever makes me happy so um this sort of stuff at the moment is making me happy and i love finding bits and pieces and sharing them with you and i do post bits and pieces out to people and um and all that sort of stuff so yeah thank you to all the new and welcome to all my new subscribers i appreciate you all right, I'll see you soon and thanks for watching. Bye.